Howdy, howdy. This is Teapot on Mordrum. Here we are, episode nine. Episode nine. What fun, what fun, what fun. So, last time we uh, were working on this uh, staircase here, uh, got it pretty nice. Um, the only thing I worry about is that the oak kind of blends in here. Ultimately, you know, when I acquire some quartz, I'm going to want to replace this with uh, some quartz. So I'm going to do that later on. But what I want to do first is I want to actually take this right here and start making a nice spiral staircase. So what I've done is I've actually made spruce wood slabs to kind of make them stand out a little better. So you see you've got a little bit more definition here. And I'm going to make a, a set of uh, stairs going up. So I'm going to make it too wide up to about here, make a little terrace. And then we'll start working up again. So let me get some something here actually fence post I think would work have a nice uh, central place for the for the build to take place no I don't want it there I actually want it up one right here maybe yeah that's where I want it and then of course ultimately I'm gonna need to get up so here I am from the second floor to the third we're gonna keep going up we got one level, two levels, so three levels. Um, just get this out here and set that up here. We're going to have another terrace here. And then, and of course, I just had this just to place, so we'll go ahead and put this here. No, one up. There. Okay. Actually, that might not be bad because it'd be nice if these fence posts actually connected to what we were going to. So let's knock that out and put some fence posts here. And this is actually going to come up here to a nice stairway. So I've got this nice circular stairway which goes up from the second floor to the third floor. And I'm going to go ahead and knock this out here. And let's go ahead and retrieve my lost pieces. Quite a bit fell down over here. So this is going to go up as a, as a nice stairwell. And it is kind of easy to fall down. So I'm going to need to do something there to, to remedy that. But I'm also going to do this just so that piece sticks. And I think I want to do the same thing over here, of course. I know that we're never going to see that, but it's nice to, to kind of be complete. And then the thing is, the rest of this area, I really kind of want to have this cordoned off. I really don't want to be able to just kind of walk through here. So I'm probably going to need to build a wall here. So let's go ahead and do this with the, with the oak. to here, I guess. And actually, I'm wondering if I wouldn't mind having a little doorway here. So actually, this is the boundary of the stairs, so I'm actually going to kind of have this be a little closed-off area. If I didn't miss, that would be wonderful. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So we'd be coming in, and I think this is where we're going to have our doorway. So it's basically, this would be one small room that we'd have, and this would be the access to it if I came up this way. But if I came up this other way, then I've got this hallway opening up to a nice room. But over here, I'd really like to be able to continue up that was the bad thing there. Actually, I'm wondering if I should uh, maybe have that here instead of that row there. And let me go ahead and just finish this off with uh, half slabs. Just so this is uh, nice and level. And so I 
could have that there. I think I really want it here though because well, that's not good. But what I'm going to want is I'm going to want this here. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get that. So let me go ahead and craft an axe real quick. Just something that gets the job done, really. That's all I'm looking for at this point. Just something to go up here and clear this out. torch on the wall there-ish and then this will be where the door is so now I've got this spiraling staircase which will continue to go up and because I've made these double blocks here these fence posts will connect to it and I can actually hide a little storage underneath it's not something you'd really know about unless you knew about it and so we can continue maybe going up and continuing the spiral staircase here. So let's see, I've still got some more of this uh, spruce. And this was our landing. And we're going to continue the fences up. So I can bridge off of this. Yeah. And again, I want that to be a double. Actually, I want a, a double post here as well, just so that matches up. And this will continue going on. So let's see, that's should be there. And this will give us our terrace. And this goes up to our fourth floor loft. So this really should have fencing kind of going all the way up to here. And then of course I'm going to want some type of safety fence there to make sure I don't fall off. And I need to continue the safety fence over here. I'm not sure that I want this to be solid. Let's see, I think some fences would be nice. Do I have any more wood in here that I can use for fences? No, not as such. So let's take some. And we'll stick it. So that'll give us some fences that we can deal with in here. So this first floor is okay, except I'd like to replace this with marble. And now we're using the darker wood for the stairs. And I probably, let's see, so I've got the protected area over here. But over here, I'd like this to be a little bit lighter and airier. So let's go ahead and have this be uh, fence posts. I'll go ahead and continue this. Come on. So then now I've got this light and airy. I really should extend this up a bit higher. 
So let's get some more fences. That's right, I took out the sandstone steps, so this is really the only way up or down. Which is okay, I kind of like the, the one way up, one way down type situation. That'll give us 24 fences. And I will eventually put a crafting table up here. I've just got this kind of set up as a... just a little residency here. There we go. And then I would eventually like to protect this a bit more. I don't want to be able to just go walking off on this edge. But that at least gets us the, the framework for a, a nice little spiral staircase with a door axis here, hidden storage under the stairs. Looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fence off some more of this area, uh, complete the fencing off camera, and then we'll start dealing with other interior parts, maybe even taking care of some of the stonework. And we're back. So I've done a little work off camera. I've uh, kind of completed this fences here, so it's a nice safe area. I've also uh, started finishing up the top floor up here. I'm going to add one more row of smooth stone before I uh, make a nice cobblestone roof for this. And then the other thing that I've started doing is, and you can see down at the bottom floor, if I can climb down these stairs, um, I've replaced some of the smooth stone with uh, the rough sandstone. You can see you can see it kind of around here. And of course the idea is that I want to give it where this, le this uh, weathered look. And I've also added some uh, some leaves here just for some atmosphere. But I'm going to continue with this uh, putting some of this rough sandstone up at top. But of course we are in episode 9 so I do need to take care of a vote real quick. So let's see what we got. And we got a block of iron. Excellent. So we can use that for some of our tools that we need. Um, but I do want to continue with this idea of sandstone. So I want to kind of show you what I've done here. You know, basically any place where there would be a lot of uh, strain, remember the the reason that we have these really tall towers up here is because the weight of the building is actually supported by the windows and the window frames. So I'm going to see a lot of this uh, cracked stone around the windows because that's where a bunch of the strain is. And of course I'm also going to see the cracks here at these corners because I'm going to have a lot of strain there as well. And so what I've done is I've, I've kind of put that on at several of these places here. I've also done this. I'm not too sure how I feel about this, but I've actually used some of the, the stairs to kind of make it look as if part of it's even chipped away. I'm not crazy about the way this looks, and I'll probably change this back to sandstone, but I just wanted to, to see how it looks. But I'm going to continue up floor by floor and add some of this rough sandstone, uh, replacing the smooth sandstone, and just, just see how it looks. So... That's the topic at hand. Um, as I mentioned in the last episode, I, I am a high school teacher, and so um, for me, this is actually uh, the last day before school actually starts for my students. So I'm going to be getting ready for uh, school to start this uh upcoming weekend. For me, it's Friday the uh, 21st right now. I know this will actually be coming out, I think, on the 31st of August or maybe the 1st of September. I think it's going to be coming out on Labor Day. Um, and this wonderful lag. That's always fun. So anyway, um, you know, I know from where I am, 
uh, students have just finished their first full week of school and if you've uh, gotten through a, a week of school I do want to say congratulations that's always the the toughest part both for students and for teachers and uh, if you are one of those states that starts school the, the week of Labor Day well good luck with your upcoming classes and if you're someone who's not in uh, high school if you're in college or somewhere else you know good luck with everything that you do I, I do wish the best of luck to everyone I think everyone deserves luck So again, I'm just uh, making a mess here, uh, replacing some of this uh, smooth sandstone with rough sandstone, just trying to give it this uh, look of weather to it. And I have no idea how much is enough and how much is too much, so we're just going to do it until it you know, doesn't feel right anymore. A little bit around these windows just because we've got so many of the windows and trying to put a lot of stress around these corners here because it just seems like where the corners are did that come out normal can't tell there you go just seems that where we would have a lot of lag I mean where, where we would have a lot of stress because of the windows supporting the weight we would have this uh, this cracked look to it and the thing is you know we don't have to have huge gaping uh, sections of it you know sometimes just having a couple of pieces here and there maybe even just one piece would be enough so I've got another stack of this let's go ahead and move up to the third floor maybe put a little bit here working our way up and of course trying to make sure I keep the lighting going up. Remember we do have this uh, we do have this little door which leads us up to our our third floor and again you know continuing this idea of just adding a little bit just enough to just enough to make things look worn you know some gaping parts and some not so big parts and of course wherever these floor joists are we're gonna have to have a little bit of wear as well because uh, let's face it the floor is where most of the wear and tear in a building actually happens because it's basically like a big lever we're just uh, walking back and forth on these things so I'm gonna take a real quick pause go downstairs and collect any of the uh, detritus that is fallen like here and of course around the building as well I am trying to make this almost like a sky block type build where my resources are precious because I really don't have that many resources and there's my little garden I probably should make a gate out here as well to access it because otherwise I'm kind of limited to accessing it from through the building So what I've been doing, you can see kind of the, the stress that's going on. I've got some nice stress patterns going on here. I'll, I, I'm still torn about whether or not I want to include more stairs in here. And it just seems like the stairs would be more of the outside, which is a bit more difficult for me to, to bring in correctly. Let's go ahead and uh, continue weakening this. Not there. And of course, glass is a precious commodity, so I do not want to break that. But just little bits here and there, just to kind of give it a yeah, you know, it's it's not, it's it's an older building, and that's okay to be old. Just uh, ah, uh, seriously, yeah, oh, that's why I missed. Okay. Let's 
There we go. Oh well, we'll, we'll make that work. A little bit more here, kind of almost all the way to the top. And light. And then, as I mentioned, I completed the, the lighting over here, and I've got this nice little chandelier as well. I guess I missed. Let's take care of that. So I've got these little um, fence posts coming out here to help with some of the lighting. So let's go up to the fourth floor and take care of that. You know, I've already got some stone up here. So let's go ahead and... That's going to be tricky. Yep. There we go. And I just got these steps here so that I can access the roof when I want to. I can access the roof when I want to. Oops, that's not going to be helpful. When I want to continue building it. Okay, so I can't quite reach those spots. I'm going to have to get those by walking around the top. So I'll just, right here, right here. Again, you know, trying to put as much stress as I can on the corners. And I think I, those slabs will look okay. Yeah. So it's enough just to get some things going. So let's go ahead and clean up our, our hand to work. Some of this stuff does fall in the window cracks. Some of this stuff fell outside. Lovely, lovely lag. And then around the edge. Of course, I'm going to lose some of this stuff to the water, and that's just some of the perils of building so close to a deep ocean biome. But you know what? I That's kind of the whole neat part of this that I get to build in this area that not very many people build in. I mean, why, why, do we, why do we do the challenging builds? Because they're there. So I'm going to try and finish up. I wanted to put one more layer of, of uh, sandstone up on the top and then we'll go ahead and start the, uh, the roof. And uh, There we go. And the thing is, these won't be as noticeable, so it's not going to be so brokenhearted if they look pristine. These buildings are usually built where the bottom floors are several centuries older than the top floors. That wasn't healthy. Part of the dilemma of building high is that things like that can happen. That's okay. We're almost done with the outer parts, and then I think when we do episode 10, we'll start dealing with uh, what's inside that counts. And what I may do is I may actually make some... Uh, chiseled sandstone just to make this more exciting. So I'm going to... That piece there is just driving me crazy. Let's go ahead and, and rescue it maybe. Can I rescue it? Yes. Oh, and there was some stuff out here on the patio too I saw. Thank you. So we're going to get um, some of the cobblestone. We're going to make some cobblestone steps and start working on the roof. Uh, no boat. No. So let's do a boat quickly. Ah, uh, that lovely rain.
you know, we may just have to wait some other time to build that roof. It might be a little dangerous out there. So I'm just going to make some steps. Where is your sense of adventure? I want to live forever, do you? Ah, uh, stupid boat. It's going to be one of those things where I just keep falling forever and die. Hope not. Die boat, die. There we go. Alright. I'm going to get inside. I'm going to eat. And then we're going to start building a, a roof. So it's basically concentric rings of uh, stairs. It's a very simple roof here. it out. There we go. So this is why it didn't really matter how we did that. And I'll fix these in a bit. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to have to be careful because that can happen. Ah, <sighs> lovely. Boom, 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 boom. And you were bad too. Well, I guess I better not make any more mistakes then, huh? Or I could just make another pick. That would also be an option. So I may just do this off camera. I'm going to go ahead and uh, end the episode for today then. We, we got quite a bit done on the house. Uh, in the next episode I'd like to start working on the interior of the house. Maybe uh, I've been doing a little sailing and there, over there is an island which has some sheep on it so I may use that to get my wool. I eventually I'm going to need to find some way to get some grass blocks over here. And uh, we'll go ahead and leave that for today. So once again this is Teapot. Thank you for watching. Have a dry day.